She's a mother, a daughter, sister, friend, medical instructor, and counselor. Welcome to the broadcast of Help Us Near Missionary Ministry. This broadcast is designed to equip individuals with practical biblical teachings from God's Word. Now introducing evangelist, preacher, teacher, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Cronk. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. For we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to the broadcast. The table is set, the bread of life is ready, and we are ready to serve you the Word of God. This is Help Us Near Missionary Ministry, and I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Crunk. I invite you now to feel free to grab a pen and some paper for the purpose of taking notes. And by the end of the broadcast, the announcer will give you some important information. As always, I am delighted to share the spirit, this spiritual time together with you. For spending time with the Lord and fellowshipping with one another is it truly a blessing and the best part of life. You know, I've been in the medical field for over 29 years and I'm just fascinated by the human body and how wonderful and marvelous the God of the entire universe has created us. Did you know that the most important, excuse me, did you know that the most people have lost 50% of their taste buds by the time they reach the age of 60 years old? Wow, so if food just don't taste like it used to, well, no, we know why. Now we know why. If you were tuned in to our program last week, we acknowledge my desk, amen, and the items on it. And I just want to take just a few moments to explain the significance of each element once again on my desk, for there's truly a reason and purpose illustrated by utilizing the Word of God, starting with the two lamps. Psalms 119, 105 states, Thy word, O God, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. My cup of cold water. I want to take a drink quickly. Mm. Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. Jesus said, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of this, his disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. You know, I just want to add that I have purpose in my heart that I am going to smile and do everyone right no matter what. And when I have, when I have days that are trying, I pray the Holy Spirit who resides in me faith will be faithful and will bring back to my remembrance my goal and doing what is right. Amen. The Help Us Near Missionary Ministry Treasure Box, Matthew 6, 21. Jesus spoke about treasures when he said, but lay not up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, watch this, there is your heart also. My desire is to draw out of the treasure box each week a memory verse to share with you. And perhaps now, your name, yes, your name, I would like, I desire to put, place your name in a treasure box and each week I will open it on this televised program and pull a random name that the Lord has selected from Help Is Near Missionary Ministry Treasure Box. And Help Is Near will send you just in, within a week a gift that's just for you. By decide, because that's, because we, we are so thankful that you have decided to fellowship together with Help Is Near. How about that? And we say to you in advance, thank you for all your support. So if you are interested in your name being placed in our treasure box, please write to Help Us Near Missionary Ministry today and don't forget to include your full name, address, phone number, and send us either a short inspirational positive quote. And now, and know this, that if you want, you can go to positivequotes.com 
It has great positive quotes to inspire your every day and someone else's day. Amen. And feel free to send us your fi favorite Bible verse if you choose to do that. Our address is P.O. Box 432-032, Pontiac, Michigan, 48343. Or by email, by help is near ministry. Ministry is spelled M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y at gmail.com. And last but not least, the Holy Bible is on our desk. Second Timothy chapter three, verses 16 to 17 says, for all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. Profitable meaning what we can and what we will gain from the word of God. So what can we gain from the word of God? Doctrine, which means teaching. Reproof, which means rebuke, reprimand, counsel or warning. The word of God is for correction and for instruction and what? Righteousness. Why? That the man of God may be what? Perfect. The word perfect means complete, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now, before we dive into God's vast ocean, the word of God, I want to open the treasure box for this week's memory verse. Now, our memory verse for last week was Psalm 5110, if you recall. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. That's Psalm 5110. Our new memory verse for this week, let's look in the treasure box. It's found in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14. I like this particular Bible verse because this helps me to stay in great communion with everyone. The word of God says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. I must follow peace with all men so that people will see Jesus in me and glorify my father, which is in heaven. And don't forget the word holiness, sanctified from this world, but sanctify to the world to come. Amen. And now to the best part of life, God's word. Our series title is Never Take Off Your Armor. And if you have your Bible, our main text is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18. Our topic and practical living text is found in 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 27. Now, we have some other interesting books, chapters, and verses to share with you. So be sure to keep your pen and paper nearby. Looking at today's text, Ephesians chapter 6, beginning with verse 10. And the scripture states, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Whose might? The Lord's might put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand or withstand the wiles, the tricks, the schemes, the strategies of who? The devil. And not only the devil, we ought to be, we ought to be concerned about one of our closest enemies that is nearest and dearest to us. Who might that be? Thanks for asking. Myself. Mm. Yourself one of the greatest enemies, that flesh. For we are flesh and spirit. And so every day I wake up, I just make a decision that my spirit man is going to reign, not my flesh. Because the word of God says there is no good thing in the flesh. My greatest days is but filthy rags, thus saith the Lord. For every thought, every act, every word, and every reaction starts with who? Me starts with you. No one can make me act and react in a way that is contrary to the word of God but me. I have, I have free will to reign over the words and actions, my words and actions at all times. For the word of God states in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 and 7, be angry and what? Sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. And listen very carefully. Neither give place to the devil. Now, I like that. That's something interesting. That means this. My actions and the way 
that I perform during out, do, throughout the day, I could give way to the devil. It depends on how I act. For when we give place to the devil, I'm sure he says, thank you for center stage. And we know that what kind of actor and character the devil is. He comes to do three things. What is those three things? You know, to steal, kill, and destroy. But not I, no, not me. It is my destiny to do the will of my Father in heaven. For the Lord has instructed me in Romans 12, chapter 12, verse 14 to 17 through 21, to recompense, which means to pay. The word recompense means to pay. Listen, to recompense no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. I like that. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you and in me, what should we do? Live peaceably with all men. That can be done. The word of God says it can. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. So what's, so whose place is it when someone has done my family wrong or has done me wrong in my sight and in my eyes? Whose place is it? According to the Holy Scripture in Romans chapter 12, verse 19b, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says who? The Lord. I like that. Well, that settles it. And just in case someone is watching this program and says within himself, well, I am just going to take matters into my own hands. Because frankly, God is too slow at times to do what I need him to do. And I need him right now to do it. Well, remember these words and never, ever, ever forget these words found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Listen to this. Be not deceived and let no man tell you otherwise. God is not mocked. Or in other words, the Lord mean what he says and what he says he means. The Lord doesn't stutter. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth or doeth, or whatsoever a man or a woman decides to do or say, that shall he or she also reap. The word reap means receive. So honestly, that's power. If I give out good, it is a law. I'm sure to get good back. But oh, woe unto me if I give out evil, because evil is coming back. And we do know this, it's another law. Whatever I plant, I always get double and triple. So if it's a good thing, watch out, your harvest is on its way. But if it's evil, mm, I wouldn't wanna be in your shoes. So therefore, back to Romans chapter 12, verse 20. If your enemy, if your enemy hunger, the solution is, is to feed him. If he's thirsty, come on, give him something good and cold to drink. Why? For in doing, the, for in doing this, thou shall heap coals of fire on his head. And this is a good thing for the giver and the receiver. Amen. Why is this? Listen, every human being was created by God and in the image of him. With that being said, we all have been dealt the measure of faith. We all have. Whether we reject it and whether we believe it or not, we have all been dealt the measure of faith. Romans 12, 3. And for this reason, we not overcome evil. We're gonna, we need to overcome evil with good. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with what? Good. And when evil see good, evil is consumed by his own fire, thus coals of fire heaped upon himself. Did you understand that? If good is present and evil is present, they cannot fellowship together. For evil is dark and good is light. And if you went into a dark room right now and turned on the light, guess what darkness do? It flees, it runs, because they cannot dwell together. There is no fellowship. I like that. So therefore, if evil is present and you do good, 
evil is sure to be consumed by its own fire. Mm, that is good. But when good overcomes evil, mm, I like that. Great is our reward and happy we will be. You know, we're going to take a break in just a moment. And when we do for just a moment, please get on the phone, call someone and tell them that a message is on TV right now that your relatives, your friends, and all those that you desire to hear the word of God must come and take part of this good message. For the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. That's found in Nahum 1-7. Mm, so good. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial, for we will be right back after this brief message. Amen. Welcome back to Help Is Near Missionary Ministry, and I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Monica D. Crump. But when good overcomes, is overcome by evil, great is our reward and happy we will be. For it is more blessed to give than to receive. And this, my friend, is the word of God, Acts chapter 20, verse 35. So you might be saying to yourself, what does this have to do with the whole arm of God? Well, these truths are easier said than done. And my friend, without the whole armor of God, you will not, and I mean absolutely, not be able to live by God's word without this whole armor of God. Let's take the man Gehazi, for instance. Do you recall the account of Gehazi, the servant to great Elijah? Well, let's just say, we may learn from his ways and his mistakes. And my I add, I wouldn't ever want to be in the shoes of Gehazi. No, not ever. Turn to 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 27. Gehazi truly did not possess the whole arm of God. And we are going to find out why. One piece of armor at a time. Ready? Now, Na Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master his boss and his leader. And Naaman was an honorable man, a man to respect, why? Because by Naaman, the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. In other words, there was a war between Syria and Israel. And guess who lost and guess who won? Syria won and Israel lost. Mm. And this was the will of God. Yes, it was. Read it for yourself. Now, Naaman was an awesome warrior, strong, mighty, and a man of great courage to have on your team. I like those kind of people to have on my team. I want to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I want to put on the whole arm of God that I may be able to stand and withstand what? The wiles, the tricks, the strategies of the devil. But there was one problem with Naaman. Do you know that problem? Naaman was a leper. Oh my goodness. What's a leper? And is this contagious? This doesn't sound good. Naaman was a leper. A leopard is a person suffering from leprosy, a person who is avoided or rejected by others for moral or social reasons. Leprosy is a contagious disease that affects the skin, mucous membrane, and nerves causing discoloration and lumps on the skin and severe cases, disfigurement and deformities. Now let's stop there for a second. Naaman has leprosy. So he's got sores all over his body. This man, this courageous man, this mighty man. And not only, I'm sure his mouth is all sore, even the blink his eyes hurt. For your information, leprosy is now mainly confined to tropical Africa and Asia. Wow. Naaman, a mighty man with great courage and power, mm. with the king of Syria, yet with all this goodness, 
there's a problem. Naaman has a very contagious disease, a skin disease, and he is unclean and therefore unfit to serve the king and dwell with society. For when you have leprosy, guess what? You have to get away from everyone. Why? Because you're contagious. We don't want to catch it. So you have to go and be separated from society, your family. He had a wife. Mm. In other words, Naaman is on sick leave until further notice. But there's hope. Now, I like that. One thing I like is that whatever took place yesterday is yesterday news. For today is new mercies and new grace. Amen. So the Lord always tells us to confess your faults. And he is faithful and just. He's our advocate, Jesus is. He's faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I like that. And so tomorrow is a new day. There's hope with Naaman. But God is good. He's a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them to trust in him. That's Nahum again, 1-7. Now, in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 2, the scripture states that the Syrian had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid or a little young girl, and she served Naaman's wife while he was absent from home. Listen to the next verse, verse 3. For we were just speaking about overcoming evil with good, didn't we? And she, the little servant girl that was taken captive from her hometown, to go and serve a foreign land and a people. She said unto her mistress, or the woman that was head of her life at that time, Naaman's wife, listen to what she said. Would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover your husband from leprosy. That's good news. So what is the little maid and the little young woman saying, she couldn't be desiring to want to help Naaman and his wife with their healing. Why? After all, they were the ones that fought with her countrymen and won and took her away from her home, from her parents, to live in a foreign land with a foreign people. How dare she be kind? How dare she give goodness after all they've done to her? She's a slave in that home, but no doubt this little, amen, this little young maid was trained in the way she should go, the way of the Lord and salvation. Romans 8:28 states, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For there is a purpose to every season under the sun and the son of God, amen. We are instructed to put on the whole arm of God and not just some pieces, but all. And for what purpose? To be able to stand and to withstand the tricks and schemes of the enemy. Amen. The tricks and schemes and the strategies that the devil brings on a daily basis. He doesn't rest. So what are, what are the armor pieces? We have the helmet of salvation. We have the breastplate of righteousness. We have the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the shield of faith, our feet shot with the gospel. Amen. I like that. And never forget prayer without ceasing. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You believe that? The Lord has also blessed Help Us Near Missionary Ministry to bring forth the word of God on radio also. So be sure to listen to my radio broadcast on WMKM Gospel 1440 Monday through Friday at 4.30 p.m. Or if you would like, you can call me 248-636-5793 for prayer or perhaps to tell me your testimony. Amen. As always, I am delighted to serve you the Word of God. Help us new missionary ministry asks of you to please prayerfully consider sending a financial blessing today. Your love offering and financial blessing today will help keep the light shining by teaching of God's word. Amen. Right here on this broadcast. And I know for sure the Lord will bless you for it. For the Lord loveth a cheerful giver.
If you would like prayer or to share your testimony, call me, 248-636-5793. Until next time, remember, fellowshipping with God is the best part of life. Amen. This has been a Help Is Near Missionary Ministry broadcast with Rev. Dr. Monica D. Crunk. Continue watching her every week and feel free to contact our ministry with your prayer, praise, and testimony. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, please prayerfully consider sowing a financial seed into the ministry. Our address is P.O. Box 432-032, Pontiac, Michigan, 48343. By phone, 248-636-5793. That's 248-636-5793. Or contact us by email, helpisnearministry at gmail.com. Until next time, remember, help is near.